สวัสดีค่ะ Science subjects like physics or chemistry might be pretty difficult to many of us. I discussed this issue with German radio host Joachim Hacker. He has been demonstrating science through radio for the past 11 years. And I also talked to Hans Henning Lakish, who is a founding member of Fundamenta Lundenschel, which is a famous science learning center in Germany. How did you come to host a radio program on children's um, science experiments? Um, because my daughter says I'm a big child. Yes, I, I, I do like uh, play with uh, science myself. And uh, when I was young, I took part in uh, Youth in Research. It's a project in Germany where you make a competition. You, you make your own research and then you take part at a con uh, competition for the, for the best research. And I took part and I, this was the first experiment I did on, on radio. And then the series started where I'm doing experiments on radio for 11 years now. So you actually do experiments on radio? Yes. Mm -hmm. How I do, do you do that? Experiments, I thought we have to watch or see doing yeah. experiments. That, 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 that's true. You have to, you have to explain them, them very good. So the uh, children at home, they can do it uh, themselves immediately at the same time. It's, it's live. It's meant to be done at home at the same time. Mm -hmm. And um, they, they do it indeed or they do it in their mind and they, they, they do the same in mind and they came to very uh, astounding uh, conclusions. Uh, so they have, it's, it's very good for the fantasy, for, for the mind, and um, you, can, yeah, you, can you can do it with your hands or just with your mind. It's both possible. What types of experiments do you do? Of course on radio, uh, mainly uh, acoustic experiments or experiments you can easily explain. Not too complicated, but um, I'm, uh, I, I like very simple experiments you can do immediately uh, with, uh, with things you have at home. Can you please show me examples of the experiments you do? Of course. A very simple one is you need just a bottle with water. Yeah? Just take it sometimes so the air inside gets very wet. Then you need some... That's just water, tap water? Ordinary water okay. hmm, from the water crane. Hmm? Then you need a match. Yeah. I put off yeah. matches. Mm. Close it and you get a cloud in the bottle. It's very easy. Oh. It's an instant experiment. You can do it within one minute. What does it show? It shows uh, it, uh, what is in the atmosphere happens when uh, there are clouds coming. Uh, you have the particles of the smoke from the match, and on these particles the water is condensing. If you, if you press, it gets a bit warmer, and if you release, it's getting a bit colder, and that's enough, this temperature difference, to, to condense inside and you have clouds. It's the same what happens uh, many kilometers above in the air, in the stratosphere, and so on. And you can make it on Earth. Is this dangerous for children? You have matches um, as well? If you work with matches, you should have the parent with you, but it's not, it must, it's not dangerous. It's pretty simple to do. Did you I've, I've done it with ch children too. Oh, OK. Mm. And they love it. How old are the children that you're talking um, about? About six to, six to 12. Or as I say, six to ninety-nine, because many adults they are very interested in too. How did like you come it. up with all of these ideas of what to show on your program? Um, I'm playing much at home. I have a little lab, and uh, my wife is not very excited about it. <laughs> it is, uh, um, I do it in the kitchen, and uh, there is a lot of, of stuff there, and I, I try very much myself. I look into the internet, of course, to get inspiration. But it's all, I, I test it all myself before I do it on, on broadcast, of course. Is it very difficult to teach children science? Yes, it is. In one way, it is very difficult because if you teach children something or you want to explain children something, you have to understand it yourself. If you explain something to adults, you must not have understand it. You can, uh, yes, yeah, so you, you, you just say a few words. Uh, or, uh, but if you explain children, they, they, they ask, they have no respect. They ask if they do not understand, 
So you have to understand it yourself. On the other side, it is very easy because they are very enthusiastic, they are very interested in, and they want to know how the world works. The phenomena around us, they, they want to know. With all of your experiments shown on the radio, mm -hmm. how do they actually link up with what children learn in school? They are, uh, they, they treat the same phenomena as in school, but I do not want to make, to make school on radio. I want to make fun on radio, to get them interested into science, to show them science must not hurt. It is very interesting and science is fun, though they are fixed on and they are interested to, get, uh, to, to make science themselves. And they have no fear later if science in school, in physics, in chemistry, or in biology becomes more complicated. So they are still interested and have no fear, no, 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 no brick in front of their head. So they like to do science. and. I hope personally that more uh, children will, will deal with uh, science uh, later, uh, will study scientific subjects and um, yes, so the scientific com community is increasing a bit more. The mentality for children here in Thailand is that science is something very difficult to learn, it's hard. Is that the way German children think of science as well? It's a similar in Germany, yes. In Germany, children think things to, oh, science is boring, science is complicated, yeah. it's much with calculating and, yeah. and drawing, and it is very, very dry stuff. It's mm. really the same, and it is hard to, uh, it, it, I, I want to, to show them, it is, of course, it is hard too, if you get uh, close to it. But uh, first, it can be very, uh, can be very funny um, and it can be, uh, it, it is something with your hands because I think if you want to understand something, you should touch it. You get really in touch it and with experiments you can do it. You can really touch something and, and if you touch it, you can understand it better, really.